everyone, and welcome back for another episode of the Endless Spiral podcast. You're all very welcome. On this episode, I'm joined by Stephen from the Trojan M Company. They are a new CBD, and I'm going to say CBD because I keep calling it CBT, CBD <laughs> brand based in Dublin. And to be honest, I'm always interested to chat to businesses who uh, offer products that help someone's mental health, and especially an Irish business and a Dublin business, because obviously I'm based here in Dublin. So I'm actually very interested to learn a little bit more about Stephen and his company and the CBD in general. And let's just let the cat out of the bag straight away, guys. I know nothing about the Z- CBD. <laughs> CBD. I swear <laughs> to God, I got to get that right. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about this. So we're just going to go through questions after in the podcast and we'll see how Stephen um, answers them. I probably should have got the countdown music <laughs> embedded into this podcast. It's just like fire, yeah. fire questions at him. <laughs> but yeah. anyway... Stephen, exactly yes exactly well look Stephen thanks very much for coming on the podcast today um I appreciate you giving up your time to have a chat and um how are you everything okay everything's brilliant with myself yeah good Friday as you say coming up to the weekend it's always a good time exactly yeah we were just saying that beforehand it's nearly there we're nearly there um so I think we'll hand the reins over to Stephen and we let Stephen Kind of give yourselves and me a little bit of an insight into him and kind of where the Trojan Hem Company came from and how we kind of got involved in the CBD uh, stuff and all that. So why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, so obviously Dublin born and raised. Um, I was, I've worked in sales for five, six years. Um, I did a little bit of traveling, went over to Australia, met my partner over there. She's from Wales herself, and she came back to live here with me. Again, went back into a sales job. Was kind of going. Felt like I was just going through the motions. wasn't really any any drive or motivation. I wasn't really happy with what I was doing. And so the start of lockdown came in. Then was off work. Went into a bit of a, a bad place where I wasn't really leaving the house. I was kind of in a, a, a bad mental space and. Yeah, after about a month of that, then I started looking at ways that I kind of improve my own mental well-being and my own physical well-being as well. Start looking after myself a little bit better. Um, And from there, I kind of had a massive lifestyle change, um, went vegetarian, started yoga, meditation, took up CBD after being referred to by a friend. Um, And then we started working on our business from there once we were in kind of a, a better mental space. And yeah, it's 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 been a, a an enjoyable road. Yeah, yeah. And when your friend um, recommended the CBD to you, had you heard of it before, yeah. or had you tried it before, yeah. or did you know anything about it? Yeah. So like I'd I'd know quite a lot about cannabis. Um, I've had um a lot of experience with cannabis in the past, and it's it, they the two are similar. They're not quite the same, but they are okay. similar. Okay. Um, cannabis is obviously the intoxicating properties and mind altering CBD is a little bit different it comes from the same family same species okay. of plants, but it doesn't have that mind altering effect. So I'd kind of got a basic understanding of it. Um, and when he told me to look into it a little bit further, did a lot of research into other kind of more developed markets and um, the likes of the US and Canada. Mm-hmm. And started looking at the research that was coming out from those markets. And yeah, it, it was just, it was fascinating. Got absolutely, completely rabbit hole straight in. I, I loved everything about it. The different ways that it can kind of benefit people. Like it, it just has such a wide range of positives to offer people. And it just, it really, really resonated with me. Yeah, yeah. And were you suffering from like anxiety or was it depression or was it a bit of both? Or how did you... How did you yeah, actually end like, up taking it? It was a little bit about um, growing up for me. Um, I got picked on a lot when I was growing up um, because of my skin color. I uh, can't really see now, but I'm a little bit tanned. <laughs> and uh, I got quite a lot of uh, abuse when I was growing up. And that kind of, yeah, kind of played on my mental health a lot. Um, and then with obviously working in a nine to five job, I was pretty unhappy with where I was in life I wasn't didn't have any direction I felt like I was just kind of going through the motions yeah, um, yeah. and the lifestyle then of looking after yourself kind of really came into play and, and I started looking at all these different things that I can do to to improve my, my mental well-being so that I can improve my life 
and so that I can move forward and do something with my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of where the, the start of the interest peaked with CBD and then the more information and the more research I've done into it, it just, yeah, I just got more and more in love. Yeah, yeah. And how did the name come about? The Trojan Hemp Co. Um, so it, it took us a, a lot of time to come up with the name. Um, so it's <laughs> kind of a hidden acronym in there. So cannabis as a whole, in my opinion, is a wellness product when used correctly. Um, now, obviously, it can be abused. And with the regulation and the information that's available towards it in Ireland, there's not much at all. So a lot of it's coming from a, a criminal side of things where you don't have proper products. You don't have anything that you can kind of rely on informational wise. So that's why I spent a lot of time doing a lot of research in the U S and Canada and how like different people are using these products to benefit their, their wellbeing and to, to improve their lifestyles in many different ways. So the Trojan hemp co hemp and cannabis are closely related. Cannabis obviously has the mind altering effect um, and yeah. hemp doesn't. Um, so the Trojan hemp would be like, you know, the Trojan horse. Yeah. So hemp will be the Trojan horse, the cannabis being legalized and for to open up the conversation into All right. Yeah, into more well being side of things on, on that respect of yeah, yeah. I'm very good. That's actually quite interesting because um I don't know if I, if anyone saw my Instagram, but Stephen was actually very kind to send me um some of one of his products and it, I just have the box here beside me the uplift. And I have to say, because I'm a bit of a, I said this to you already last week when I saw it, and you said, well, I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to Vol, that your branding is brilliant. And like, <laughs> but you were just saying there a few minutes ago, like you've got so much information with the product that, that you gave me. I mean, and then you sent me an email and there's like a PDF and it's, it's really, really good. So, I mean, did you find that there just wasn't enough information about the products? Yeah, big time. Big time, like a huge lack of information, not right. just in Ireland, across Europe. Um, the rest of Europe in the last kind of two years has really, really taken off. Ireland are very, very slow to catch on, as with everything. I'm sure you know <laughs> yourself. <laughs> um, so we spent a lot of time, myself and my partner, Hadi, um, we spent a lot of time researching the different, like more established markets like the US and Canada, where there was an abundance of information laid out in a really easy to easy way to access and understand yeah and that's kind of what we wanted to do here in ireland we wanted to provide not only a high quality product but the information yeah. to go along with it okay so are these products or i mean like, look as we said guys i know nothing about this so I'm, my questions are probably going to be a bit basic but hopefully by my questions if someone who's listening to this aren't too familiar with it they might, we, you know they might get something from this but yeah um, i don't even know i was going to ask you now <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna ask you. Oh, yeah i know i remember now so yeah. are the like is cbd like is that um kind of more popular outside ireland so is it really popular in america or yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think a recent study was done in summer last year one third of the population in the u.s are now using cbd so wow. massive massive wow. numbers yeah okay. and the reason being is how it actually interacts with your body so you actually have a system in your body that's built to receive these compounds like CBD. Yeah. And it, what CBD does is makes that system work better. And that system then regulates the other systems, the likes of your respiratory system, immune system. That system regulates them and makes sure that they're functioning to their best ability. So basically it's a, it's a health and wellness product. Okay, right. And can you, can you get it in different forms? Another one you sent me was in like a, it's like, I suppose it's a liquid the form. The oil, yeah. sorry, the oil, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely, oh. yeah. There's many, many different different types of CBD. You'd be surprised. Okay. You get everything from CBD lip balm, shampoos, oh, CBD okay. toothpaste, um, CBD gummies. There's, oh. yeah, what, basically any product that you think can think of, they put CBD into it. Okay. <laughs> and do they all do the same thing? I mean, are they, uh, do, do they all have the same ingredients? Things. Yeah, um, CBD itself is is one ingredient. It's one compound, but that can okay. be mixed in in different forms to provide different benefits or different effects. Um, for example, a CBD hair care would be more for dry scalp or kind of dry hair or stuff like that. Um, whereas CBD oils is more internal well-being mentally and physically. All right, okay. So you're obviously taking the oil for your own mental health. 
Yeah. Yeah. And how did Absolutely. you find along out? With, you... Along with other things now, of course, yeah. like meditation, I've, yoga. Yeah. I was actually, yeah. I was, I was, I'm glad you said that because I was going to ask you if you had tried anything else as well or yeah. anything along with it, obviously, you know, the kind of, um, to help each other along. So you, you, know, you, you tried uh, mindfulness or meditation yeah. um, and you're doing yoga now as well. So you kind of, yeah. I suppose it's good to kind of incorporate that into everything really. Absolutely. Yeah. hundred percent. I believe it's a, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. 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 It's a lifestyle. And what type of yoga are you doing? Are you doing yoga for, or, for long? Um, so I've just been doing mainly YouTube videos, really, yeah. um, and I've been doing them for probably about the last year. Um, kind of after that, that slump that I had at the start of COVID, that's yeah. when I kind of started to incorporate all these different things into my life. Um, yeah. And since then, it's it's been part of my daily routine. Yeah. I find it essential for keeping myself at that, that uh, high operation and kind of yeah. staying positive. Yeah. So why don't you run us through a typical day for you then? Yeah, um, so myself and my partner would get up. Um, it varies every day. Like, we're not too strict on ourselves. Probably mm. about between 6 and 7 o'clock. Uh, we'll get up, we'll have our breakfast, do our yoga. Then we'll sit down, do some meditation, have our CBD, and then get to work for the day. Okay. Um, and then lunchtime, we'll have lunch about 12 or 1, do a little bit of meditation again before we go back to finish our working day. And then, yeah, chill out in the evenings, relax, have some CBD, and... Have a nice restful sleep. <laughs> oh, and actually, I'm glad you said about sleep. So it helps your sleep, doesn't it? Because I'm, I don't sleep great. I mean, I used to sleep right. better, but for some reason at the moment, I'm not sleeping very well. Yeah, sleep's one of those funny things that a lot of different things can can affect it. Yeah. Um, even like things going on in your your during your day can affect how your how your sleep pattern is at night. Yeah. What CBD does is CBD works with your your body's natural rhythm to promote a deeper more restful sleep so it can kind of help you get to sleep a little bit easier and then help you stay asleep as well so you're not waking up through the night and stuff yeah yeah and how are you now at the moment from everything i mean obviously with all the the new stuff that you have going on are you yeah. like do you find yourself kind of with more energy and you, you're probably you can think a bit clearer and stuff like that yeah Absolutely, 100%. Um, I do obviously, like I'm still human at the end of the day. I still mm. do go through periods or I do have bad days, but that's that's part of human humanity. That's part of being a human. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 100%, like from where I was last year, I'm in a completely different place. Yeah, fair play to you. Fair play to you. Um, right, let's have a look at some questions for CBD that Fire I away. said to you beforehand. I did what anyone would do. <laughs> I said to myself, I'm not going to research this because I thought maybe, like I said already, you know, if we can ask some simple questions, uh, hopefully if someone else was listening, they might kind of get something from this. So what, what did yeah. I do? I did what everyone else does. I went on to Google. And I Googled questions about CBD, as you do. Yeah. This is very exactly high tech podcast to today. <laughs> <laughs> very high tech today. <laughs> Actually, I actually, yeah, right. So let's just have a few of them, like I said, and you just throw in as much information as you can, because like I said, yeah, people in the past have mentioned CBD to me and I've never mm -hmm. tried it. I've never taken it. Uh, I know nothing about it. So if as much information as you think is beneficial, yeah. chuck it out there, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, fire away. Yeah. Uh, what does CBD stand for? Well, we kind of covered that, but. So it's that the full name for it is cannabidiol. So cannabidiol. Okay, right. Let's presume it's because it's in the cannabis family, or is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's where the kind of part comes yeah. from. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you get high from CBD? No. No. <laughs> very, very common misconception. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of stigma and association with cannabis, and um, that a lot of people do still have that kind of tying the two together, but they are yeah. they're completely different. CBD okay. won't get you high. Yeah, yeah. So you reckon there's a bit of a stigma with CBD? Yeah, I think a lot of things, hemp, cannabis, CBD, there's a massive stigma. Um, there's a lot of history behind us um, from the Prohibition era and the 1900s, and it's still kind of very prevalent now. Okay. But it is changing very quickly around the world. The more yeah. research that's done and the more understanding of the plant yeah opinions are changing very fast okay. I, I didn't know they used it in prohibition so well the prohibition of cannabis so cannabis and hemp were legal up until the 1920s 
And then okay. there was a kind of propaganda that started in the US. Yeah. Um, it was kind of a racist political approach. Right. And that's where, that's the reason why cannabis is illegal today. Yeah. Um, okay. And from the 1920s up until the 1970s, it kind of spread from the US to yeah. the rest of the world. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. I've learned something already. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As long right. as as long as I'm providing some information, as long as, yeah, it might not be relevant, but at least it's information. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, we have another one here. Uh, is CBD oil safe or addictive? Um, yeah, no, not addictive, completely safe. Um, yeah. So, a study was done. I think it was last year, the year before, that you can safely consume up to fifteen hundred milligrams, uh, which is a massive amount of CBD. Um, that's like our our highest strength bottle. It would be okay. a full bottle of them. But obviously, we don't recommend se- taking that much. Mm. Um, but it is, uh, studies have been shown that it's safe to consume up to that amount. Okay. All right. And that's just, that's obviously the oil. It's the same thing, is it? Yeah. And do yeah, they all, do they all yeah. come with the drops? You know, the thing that in the bottle with, with on your tongue. Is so that- that's, that's CBD oil specific. Yeah. So then the other other forms you can get, you can get the, the extract, which is the more um, purified form, and that's a lot higher concentrated. Yeah. The oil itself has been diluted for, for with the carrier oil, and that basically helps to dilute the oil and helps with absorption into the body. Okay, okay, right. Okay, okay, right. Next one. <laughs> How and where is CBD grown and harvested? All over the world. All over <laughs> yeah, yeah. So CBD comes from the hemp plant. Um, our, we, we've got our supplier in Spain. Mm. We spent a lot of time testing products like this hemp and CBD grown in Ireland, France, Germany, pretty much all over the world. Yeah. Um, we spent a lot of time researching and testing products from different markets, like okay. from Ireland, yeah. from France. And we, kind of wanted, we wanted to bring out a product that was extremely high quality. Um, so we, we did spend quite a lot of time testing around. But yeah, yeah. yeah, it comes from everywhere. Okay, okay. What dosage can people take? And let me see, what is it? And how long does it take to feel the benefit of it? So that's different for everyone. Um, right. Everyone okay. is, is completely unique. So everyone will require different amounts. Everyone will use different amounts of CBD and the effects will vary from person to person, as well as the time frame and feeling the benefits. Some right. people feel the effects and benefits like immediately, Others, it can take kind of two to four weeks to build up in the system. Right. Okay. And do you take the same dosage every day or can you up the dosage? Yeah. So what we do, what we suggest to do is to start low and then take it slow. Okay. So we suggest starting with a low dosage, eight to 12 milligrams and gradually increase then. So we say for the okay. first kind of four days to two weeks, stay at that um, eight to 12 milligrams. After that initial period, then you can gradually increase by, say, adding an extra drop in every day, testing that out for four days, seeing how that's working with you. Okay. So a lot of people, I think most people find 10 to 30 milligrams is their their best dosage. That's kind of the, the most widely used dosage. But again, everybody is different. Some people will need more. Some people mm. will need less. And can you mix it with anything or do you just drop it onto your tongue or under your tongue or... Yeah, um, just drop it under your tongue. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Now you can you can put it in smoothies. Uh, you can put it in coffee. We don't advise putting it in coffee because it can reduce some of the CBD content. Okay. And the our oils, they're not just CBD alone. There has been a, another compound from the hemp and cannabis plant added into them. Right. Which is the reason it has the different effects and then the different flavors as well. Okay. You, oh, okay. Very good. So we have another question, and I am the reason I'm saving one question till the end, and um, yeah. because obviously this is a a mental health podcast but with a focus towards yeah. sports and exercise. So obviously you did ask yeah. you this question the other day. So I'm going to save that question to the end because I want to spend a cool. few minutes on that. But we literally only have one other question that I kind of thought was interesting, and it does CBD have any side effects? So side effects are very very rare. Um, so they like very very rare. I think. I haven't heard of anyone having any side effects off them, okay. but side effects, if they are prevalent, then they're very, very minimal. Right. Um, it could be like nausea or feeling a little bit dizzy. But yeah. again, like I, I'm still to come across anyone that's, that's had any side effects off them. 
Okay, all right, very good, very good. Right, last question. Like I said, I was leaving this towards the end, and um, because I want to want to spend a couple of minutes on this. Um, so um, CBD oil, it can be used. Well, I let I let you talk about it obviously more, but it can be used in the kind of in the recovery for. Uh, injury so sports injuries yeah. and you said to me the other day it can actually help um, increase performance and stuff like that so i think that'd be quite interesting to have a little bit of chat about those things yeah yeah absolutely uh, cbd is absolutely booming in the sports industry at the moment um okay conor mcgregor mike tyson uh, I, I took note of a couple of here yeah, james yeah. cruz english rugby player eddie hall uh, world's strongest man brooke Entz, a uh, big name in crossfit as well CBD is getting really, really popular in the, the sports and fitness industry um, for a few different reasons. Um, so CBD itself has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, okay. So when you train or work out or have a kind of extenuous physical activity, yeah. your muscles can't, like, you know, the delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, mm. that's caused from inflammation in the muscles. So CBD itself can actually help to reduce that inflammation and speed up recovery. Okay. Now, the performance side of things, because CBD can have more common effects for the for the mental space, mm. that can obviously help with then performing better on a on a sports basis of keeping yourself calm and focused on what you're doing there, and then not okay. having your mind racing. Right. So when you say performance, it's more in the mental side. Well, I suppose it could be in the physical side as well if it, it helps in, with yeah. the kind of inflammation and you know, Absolutely, and I suppose it can yeah. help. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. The other question I was wondering. Now, this isn't obviously for the, the likes of us, but say a professional sports athlete. You know, the few that you were mentioned at the beginning there. Yeah. Um. Could they fail a drugs test from from oil? So there's different. There's three different types of CBD that you can get. Um. So CBD full spectrum, broad spectrum, and CBD isolate. Okay. So full spectrum is the closest to how nature intended. Now that has minuscule amounts of THC in it. So on that basis, it could. Um, I don't think it's enough to have uh, to show up in it. But right. if you are worried about drug tests, you're better off going for a broad spectrum product. So the broad spectrum product has had, it's gone through kind of more processing. So it's not as much of a natural product as full spectrum would be. And it doesn't have the same benefits and positive effects for the body, uh, but it does have that THC removed. So a lot of sports professionals and stuff like that do opt for a, a broad spectrum product. Uh, okay. So CBD isolate is just CBD alone. It doesn't have any of the other beneficial compounds from the hemp plant. Probably the least effective product. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's the three different types anyway. Okay. And what's the THC? What is that? So THC is the intoxicating compound from cannabis. Um, okay. So cannabis will have very high concentrations of THC, whereas hemp has minuscule amounts. And the legal limit for THC in hemp products is 0.2% in THC in, uh, in Europe, sorry. Okay. And that doesn't have any intoxicating properties at all. Okay, right. Okay, very good. Okay, so all right. Okay, well, maybe we'll wrap this up soon because I know uh, all, all of this can be uh, quite yeah, a lot uh, of difficult. information. Yeah, it's a lot of information. <laughs> so I think, well, you know what? Maybe we'll wrap this up soon, and I yeah. I'm going to give a try to the the uh, uplift uh, product you sent me and. Maybe we'll get you back on in a couple of weeks and we can have a chat yeah. then again about how I'm getting on because I can actually yeah. test it then. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I Gives think so. Personal perspective on it as yeah, well. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So do you want to tell everyone where they can find us? Yeah. Um, so you can find us on Instagram, The Trojan Hemp Co. And you can also find us on our website, www.thetrojanhempco.com. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Listen, Stephen, I think maybe we'll, we'll wrap that up. Unless you have anything else that you want to add. No, I think we've covered a lot there. Um, I don't want <laughs> to give too much information in, in the introduction. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, listen, Ian, thank, thanks very much for coming on. And like I said, it's Friday. Absolutely. We're going to wrap this up. I'm, I was going to say, well, enjoy the sunshine. There ain't no sunshine. <laughs> Unless you're listening to this. Enjoy the fresh air, sure. Enjoy, exactly, <laughs> yeah. 
exactly yeah 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 right guys we'll we'll um finish that there and again i want to thank steve for coming on for a chat and we'll be back again very soon with another endless bar podcast thanks again guys bye for now